Hey Sagittarius, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. How are you? I'm here to do your weekly reading for December 9th through the 16th. Ooh. All right. So just to let you know, I am using today the Healing Light Tarot by Christopher Butler. The Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. And then finally, the Mystery Mystical Dream Tarot by Janet Pitolato. This is an extremely beautiful deck, which is right here. And I tried to kind of go with a blue and silver theme this week. Just, you know, I heard uh, it's a blue Christmas. <laughs> so anyway, let's get started. This is going to be more of an intuitive reading this week. All right, so I'm pulling nine cards for you. And then, you know, if we feel somebody else or the person that you're watching the video for, I'm going to pull from this deck. that noise okay sorry about that <laughs> let's see what we got for you all right so king of pentacles hmm all right so I feel like you know who it is that you want to give to or that you want to be generous with in some way here What do you, what are you looking to give? I feel like you might be considering maybe speaking some type of truth or you might be seeking some type of truth from somebody. Three of Swords. You know, you, you may have been you may have been hurt by some type of truth as well. Six of Pentacles. All right, again, so there's an energy from you that you want to you may want to balance out a situation between you and another person. It might be a truth that you haven't spoken yet, or it might be about a truth that somebody else spoke to you. Somebody, somebody may have gotten hurt here. Could have been you, could have been the other person. This truth is going to be transformative. Excuse me. Barney, stop it, please. My goodness. Oy, oy, oy. Okay. I got to take off his collar. You're bugging. You're bugging. Come here, let's take it off. What's the matter? Okay, yeah, so this truth is going to be completely transformative, and it might be transformative to you, it might be transformative for somebody else, but I feel like what it's going to do, it's going to, it's kind of like the gateway to balancing out a situation that, you know, might be weighing heavily on you. Queen of Pentacles. 
All right, first of all, let's note that we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Anytime we have the counterparts, we're, we're probably looking at two people that are soulmates or heavily connected spiritually in some way. What I feel like the transformation that's happening here could be, um, you know, you could be dealing with an earth sign, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We've got a lot of earth energy here. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. This Queen of Pentacles is looking right at this death card, which, by the way, is Scorpio, represents Scorpio too. So it's like, I feel like, Whoever your counterpart is, okay, whoever your person is, knows that a certain transformation does have to happen here, and it is around some type of truth. This person here could have been the one that was hurt, or could have been the one that hurt you. All right, King of Swords. Again, you know, there's, there's truth all over this reading. So in order for you to have more balance or to balance out this situation, I feel it's you that will be needing to speak some type of truth. That's what's connecting you to a more balanced situation here. It feels out of balance because why? Because somebody, you, I feel, most likely you, may have needed to transform the situation by sharing something. And if you look at it this way here, this Queen of Pentacles could have been heartbroken over the fact that there wasn't a truth spoken by this King of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. So what is connecting the this betrayal and this truth? Transformation, okay? So basically we can transform something that felt like a betrayal into a truth. King of Cups, wow. We've got three kings here, and what's interesting and noted is that we've got King of Cups, we've got King of Swords, and we have King of Pentacles. What king are we missing? King of Wands, which is you. So that king is really the only king that is single. So you may not be single, all right? And that king also represents integrity and confidence. So you might be, you might be worried that you are lacking integrity or confidence by not showing up in your own reading. This King of Cups here is, so the, the, the other thing that I see here is that this Queen of Pentacles, if that's you or, you know, I feel you had some intuition about somebody possibly, King of Cups represents somebody that knows how he feels, right? But doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. This Queen of Pentacles is connected to this betrayal. It's like you can read it a lot of different ways, right? Um, this betrayal 
that affected this Queen of Pentacles was because somebody was secretive with how they felt. And it's like there's a lot of strong, there's a lot of strong masculine energy here. And it's around speaking the truth, very, very strong feelings, stable but generous energy here, wanting to give. But I feel like this row right here is like what separates what you want Like this feels like a very, very, um, a very, a little bit of a stuck energy because it's like in order for you to be able to reveal your feelings or, you know, again, this energy can be reversed. You can flip the characters if you need to, but in order for you to, to be able to reveal your feelings or have somebody else reveal their feelings to you, there has to be transformation. In order for this to balance out between you and a soulmate, there has to be transformation here. How? By telling the truth. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles or you, if this represents you, because you know, we don't see we don't see any wands in this particular reading. This person is connected to heartbreak, possibly because somebody, again, didn't speak their feelings. Somebody felt betrayed. So this is what needs to happen. So let's see. going right down the middle here. Ace of Swords clarified by the Two of Cups. What is this truth around? A mutual connection that you both feel that nobody is speaking about yet. Death, what needs to transform? Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, this, what this feels like <clears throat> is, you know, in order to have a new beginning, it feels like there's a, some type of foundation here between the two of you. Like, uh, this isn't, this doesn't feel like a brand new person, but in order for a seed to grow, you have to water it. You know, you can't water a seed with Coca-Cola and expect it to grow. Okay. It's like, you can't expect a connection or a relationship to grow if truth isn't spoken or feelings aren't spoken. It's just, it's gonna, it's gonna die. Ten of Swords clarified by the Spirit of Wands, which is uh, the, um, the Knight of Wands. So what was this betrayal around Knight of Wands? Somebody might have had a, a player mentality or a player energy or was perceived to have that energy. Doesn't necessarily mean they did. Just because you perceive them that way or they perceive you that way doesn't mean right, that, that that's the case. I'm also going to pull for the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles for, I 
for some reason, I feel like with all these kings here, I feel like this is your main energy because it was the first card that came out. So two of pentacles, what, what are you, what are you juggling right now? Are you juggling whether or not to, to speak your truth or not speak your truth? Or are you juggling multiple people? It's one of the two. Queen of Pentacles, clarified by Four of Swords. It, you know, the Four of Swords energy is somebody that is just, you know, they could be resting from this. They could be just focusing on other things. They could be meditating on this situation. But I feel like this person has, you know, taken a bit of a step back because I feel like this energy feels like it's it's around you some way and it's like there's so much potential good here I feel like this this person or your person or you it, it's like you may feel like you've you've done everything that you can do. If this person isn't gonna talk or speak their truth, it's like, what are you gonna do? If this person can't make a decision, you both feel the energy, you both feel the connection. You may have both honestly felt some type of heartbreak here. I'm getting the feeling like this Knight of Wands could have been a misrepresentation of somebody because either you or the other person feels betrayed by this in some way. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. Right, we have the unexpected. This is a blue moon. What's the saying? You know, it happens once in a blue moon. Right over this two of cups. All right, so we have the page of pentacles. And we have the Hierophant. I feel like it's an energy of Expect the unexpected from this person. You know, this connection, you know, might have, might be struggling with taking its time because somebody's waiting for the circumstances or the situation to be perfect. Because, you know, they feel this higher connection with this higher fan. They also might, they might be saying that, you know, take your time. Make sure that it's right for you. But I feel like this is expect the unexpected. And this might be, honestly, this might be a connection that, you know, if somebody does come forward here um, or makes a choice or decides to 
tell the truth about something, it, this could move into commitment very quickly. This is very grounded energy. The Hierophant, you know, represents marriage and commitment, you know, but also it can be spiritual teaching, spiritual learning, spiritual connection. Connection. It feels like a spiritual connection once in a blue moon. That's, that's what I'm feeling here. And that's why, you know, for whoever, because the energy, I, you know, I feel it flip-flopping here. Um, for whoever has the, the choice to make about something, I, you know, I feel like there's part of you that feels like there's only one choice to make, which is to move towards what your heart wants, but there's something holding you back. And you know, it it might be, it might be another commitment that you have or this person has. It feels like a very deep, deep connection. With all of these kings, you know, there's, I, you know, I feel like there's a, a strong knowing. There's a knowing about, you know, what what needs to happen what's been missing and again with king of wands not being here it's like you might be missing confidence you might be um you you might be afraid to break some type of integrity that you, that this situation brings Let's, I, I just, I'm just curious. I'm just going to pull a card for the unexpected. <laughs> okay. So there you are. <laughs> so something is, you know, the temperance card is Sagittarius. Something is unexpectedly happening around Sagittarius, either something that you're going to do that's unexpected or something that somebody else is going to do that's unexpected. And again, falling over the Two of Cups. So, yeah, I would just say expect the unexpected here for sure. Wild. All right, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you for this week. Um, I am doing same-day readings on Thursdays. If you would like to take advantage of that, just reach out. All right, thanks so much. Bye-bye.